thank you so much to the channel members that are supporting the channel. If you guys want to support the channel yourselves, you can start with as little as 99 cents a month. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Crafty Simmer, and we are back with another episode of the Runaway Teen Challenge. Alrighty, everyone, we are back. So, in the last part, Kaylin gave birth to her daughter uh, Avery. <laughs> But now, though, we're not taking a break from the birthing process. Oh, no, no, no. We've got one more birth to go through. But we're not going to make it that, but we're not going to make it as painfully long as the other one. So I have decided to give her a home birth as she's been getting some really mean texts, even from people that she thought were her friends. So, we're going to basically give her the chance to, well, try to do this in private. So, she's going to invite over Lucas, and Lucas is going to come over, help her out with the baby delivery, and yeah, just kind of like... Okay, so we just invited Lucas over, so he shouldn't, so he should be here super duper soon. But we're not going to be letting her just... This is the first time, Lizette. It's exciting, but also mostly stressful. Yeah, and you're doing it by yourself there, Chica. So now that so now that he's here, we're just going to come right over and we're just going to sway with him. And of course, he's freaking out. So we're going to give a birth immediately after. I need to call midwife? Oh no. Uh, let's call the midwife then. We'll do that. And then we'll cuddle with uh, Lucas. I didn't even realize that, like, I would need to do that. Oh my Vora. But she is fully dilated. We're not going to make this take forever like we did the last one. Just because we also as well have a party to go to tonight. And then once she's on the way... We'll, uh... I'll kind of take care of that part. But right now, though... No, don't eat. Go cuddle with your partner in the tub. I've, in the bath, because I've never seen this interaction before. We're going to do both. Because why not? Look at that. He should come on in. Why are you in your- there we go, girl. And then we're gonna go have this baby. Oh, that's cute. Look at how cute that is. Okay, there's the midwife. So we're going to call her over. I guess not. Fine. Everything is fine. I'm totally like just waiting for someone to uh, help me push out a baby. It's fine. Take all the time you need. But we. Oh my gosh. Why are we going this far? Okay, let's go. Let's just talk. Let's have this baby. No way. You just gave birth to my baby. Oh look, he's over here now. Oh, he's crying! 
Jing. How sweet. Tobana or Flip? The net. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Or oh wow. I really wasn't anticipating this whole thing. So let's see here. Um Let's call him Bradley. Alina Quimbo. <laughs> but yet, though, we're still going to be really thrilled about having the baby. You do not need to worry about that, their sweetheart. <laughs> And now as a result, we're going to attempt to bond with him for the very first time. And after that, we're going to go right to the party. The party's going to start in about an hour from now, so... After she attempts to bond for the first time, we'll go right to the family- Oh, never mind. Yeah, we're going to go to the event. Not yet. And we'll meet you guys at the party. Oh, alrighty, so we are now back, and we're here at the... Um... We're, I don't remember where we are. Um, we are here at the family gathering. And Kaylin's really just like watching from a distance. Kind of like her family and stuff. Which, I mean, relatable. Fine enough. Not really relatable. I mean, she doesn't really want to be around them. But she's only really doing this to keep Lauren happy. And yeah, like, 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 she is purposely keeping her distance, which I find rather interesting. And she's hanging out with, like, the Fran's household instead. <laughs> and Lizette's just kind of like, who are all these people? And, like, she just gave birth. So she's also, as well, just a little, like, meh about everything. But she does see an old face hanging out here at the bar. It's her old friend Jaden. So she's gonna go ahead here and she's going... Now, I mean... Remember that baby? And, you know, like... He was actually the only one of that friend group that didn't text her a mean message about her pregnancy, so, I mean... He has that going for him. But yeah, so, essentially, we're gonna see if we can kind of... Kind of catch up with him. See where things go from there. Who are you? You look like one of my... Oh, wow, you aged up, ma'am. Oh, I guess she likes him. But now, though, we're going to request a toast from Lauren. And then we're going to give a toast to ourselves. And then we're going to call the attendees to let's have toasts. Let's go ahead. We're going to start with that. And we're going to give a toast. Ourselves, we get a chance. This is always kind of a wonky one, though. But that's okay, like... Okay, they have been at that bar. 
Oh, now it's working. It's kind of all weird. Oh, but she's gonna start making the attempt. Now that she had some liquid courage, she's ready to go. But I guess we'll see what happens. And she's seeking support from her. From the boyfriend. How sweet. Well, there's no place for some dancing. I can kick her out of the wedding event? <laughs> I didn't know I could do that! But now we could go ahead. Wow, she's really making this about herself. I realized I forgot to buy a lot a lottery ticket at hers. Oh, and she can even cross promote a venue. You know what? She made the effort. She made the effort. She's not too. She's not too stressed about it. Barbie. She made the effort to try, and she's just not here for it. Which, I mean, totally fair. I can totally imagine her, like, not really having it. I can also see, though, too, that, like... He's not really about this life. How about you saying a thing, uh, a, uh, with Jaden? I think that would be so cute. Let's invite Jaden over. <laughs> How cute. And then That was really cute. And then we're gonna order a drink. We're gonna order a drink for for Oh no, not for dad. That's awkward. Oh, he already got a drink. Okay, so then maybe we'll order our own drink. We'll order a drink. We'll order a... We'll order this. Why not? And then... Like, I feel like that Lucas was more of, like, a spur-of-the-moment type of thing for her. I'm just- I'm not quite sure. We'll have to see kind of, like, where feelings are later. But she did definitely have to, like, not be all about it, you know? But she does want to ask Lucas about his day. So let's go ahead, let's ask about his day. Maybe we can even be friendly with, um, with him. And we can ask about chemistry together. Just because we can. Uh 
Look, bestie, you don't need to look. You're, you're you are too young to enjoy a drink. Don't worry about it. Go have fun. Go enjoy the party. Even though now the party's over, but it's fine. I think we're gonna wrap it up here, though. I know this was a short one, but it's always been a good one. And we're probably going to be expanding our house here anyways. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, don't forget to give a thumbs up as well as a comment. And if you have not yet hit that subscribe button before you do it, go ahead. Hit it. It is absolutely a free. Anyways, I have been Crafty Simmer, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone.